and welcome back to writing so today we are going to it actually says writers today's a special day we have been studying information mentor text paying close attention to the ways that published authors engage readers to learn about their topics and now we are going to begin writing our own informational books so we're going to do our own info books hold on i am you don't have to write the second because you're going to be writing in just a minute you can so it says it's important for you to remember that informational writers are actually teachers and teachers are experts about their topics so in order to write a voice filled information book we need to discover what topics we know really know well so we can focus on writing well today we are going to learn oh we did flash draft and um what we really know and what topics really matter to us so we've made lists right we've talked about lists and um we've discussed about how to structure your writing for informational right and um and we've even talked about the ones that we've seen right so Hmm, so first what you're going to do is you're going to begin thinking to yourself, if I had to teach a course to other kids in this class, what could I teach? What do I know a lot about? And we've already talked about those kinds of things, right? So, we said, what does Miss Richardson know a lot about? Crochet. Crochet. Um... So you're going to work on writing long and your I, and the job of writing long is to get ideas and information down on paper. The purpose is to generate all you know about a topic and you could teach someone else. It's not a time to be concerned about writing a catchy lead or using everything you know about the craft. You're just checking to, to if you truly know enough about this topic to spend more time writing and studying about it. So it's kind of like when we did our flash draft. I know you've done a couple flash drafts just to kind of see what you know. But when we did our flash draft with um, about the Underground Railroad, look at how much information that we knew. We knew a lot, a lot, a lot. We had... Um, three full pages and we had lots of kids that were like ready to go again right so what I want you to do today is we've already flash draft one time but I want you to go back and you can either start with one of the flash drafts you 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 wrote right or you can write a new flash draft today and the goal is to see do you have enough stuff to write and to keep writing and to keep researching for an informational book. You can totally add on to your flash draft. Um, what you might want to do is you might want to evaluate your flash drafts and figure out, yes, I have enough information. I know enough information I can teach somebody about. Or, no, this is not really a great... Uh, topic for me to discuss so if I was gonna talk to you if I'm like oh my gosh I love oh I just had it uh, no not crocheting like we could do kitties I, I I love kitties not really but we could pretend but the truth is I don't really know enough to tell you a ton about kitties. I could tell you about the kitty that I, the kitties I've had. Oh yeah. Well, especially if you don't poop or scoop their poo, they stink really badly. Yeah, I, I'm. A, the truth is, 
The truth is I am not a dog expert. I am an expert on one dog. I can tell you all about Jasper Nathaniel. I'm a great expert on Jasper. I could totally write about Jasper Nathaniel. I could tell you about how, where we rescued him from, the process of rescuing him from the rescue. I could tell you about the trip home. I could tell you about how he pooped and peed all over the house till we got him potty trained and how long it took him to potty train. I could tell you about his behaviors when I'm walking him down the road. I could tell you about how he jumps. I could tell you about my niece's newest tricks with him. Um, I could tell you a ton about Jasper Nathaniel, but I cannot tell you a ton about dog breeds. I cannot tell you about certain kinds of dogs. I cannot tell you, so there's a ton of information I don't know. What I do know is about Jasper Nathaniel. I don't know. That's a great question. Are we going to be typing these? I don't know. Um, because I'm more concerned about you guys being able to say what you need to say. And for some people, typing is really tedious. So it's a slow process. For some people, typing is helpful. But sometimes people get on technology and they're like, Oh, look at the pretty bird. Oh, look at the this. Oh, look at the that. And then they end up with nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want to make sure that if we're using it, we're using it as a tool because we've got our job done and we just want to do a polished copy. Any other questions? So I'm going to... So we've, uh, we've talked about um, what we know. We've talked about what we know well. Um, we made lists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some time to practice or to work on your, pull out your, your rough draft or your flash drafts, kind of evaluate your flash drafts. And, and I want you to know, like, uh, smiley face it if you think, yeah, I could possibly make a go of this topic. Frowny face if you're like, no, nope, this topic's not going to work for me. And then that way you've evaluated your flash drafts and then you can keep writing on one of the ones you smiley face from there. Uh, question. Are you able to write information about what? Yes, if you are an expert at a game, you could totally write about a game that you're an expert in. I would only be an expert in board games or card games, not necessarily baseball games or soccer games. Um, what if you can't think of anything that you're an expert at? Uh, we've brainstormed. I don't believe that. If you don't have enough information in your flash draft, then come up with another one. You have, we made lists, so you should have plenty of things to go off of. All right, so you guys are going to get started. If you need some help, raise your hand. If not, you should at least be writing for the next 20 minutes. Go. One of the things that I suggested was to go back through your drafts and either put a smiley face or frowny face in the, the upper corner. Like, yes, I have enough information to write about this and to keep going with it, or no, I don't have enough information to write about or keep going with this. And one of my friends just said, well, Miss Richardson, what if I have more than one yes? Well, remember, what were the topics? Like, I said I could have done Crayola, Crayola, or I said I could be writing about crochet. You tell me, what do you think I can write more about? Do you think I have more information on Crayola, or do you think I have more information on crochet? crochet. By far and large, by far, far and large, I know a lot more about crochet, and it's pretty evident, right? So if I was this particular person, I might be considered an expert in horses. So if I was choosing between um, writing about horses or writing about something else, you want to think about 
what are the things that you think you could write the best about? What do you know the most about? And that's the thing that you're going to want to write about. You forgot? Oh, ask me after. <coughs> I, you know, I, I was an expert in my cat, Milky. But I'm not an expert in kitties. I've never seen kitties be born. I know, like, I know, like, D, ugh, my cat, when, when I got Milky, I had to defleer. So, like, I know that kind of icky stuff. Well, she had, no, fleas. So she had like little black fleas in her white fur. And I had to like give her a bath. That's not fun with a cat. <coughs> Milky because she was white. That should be easy because they're black. Yeah, they're black. And, but, shh. But I'm alert, like highly allergic to fleas. Um, like as in I can walk across the room and the fleas will jump on me and other people can walk across the room and the fleas don't bother them. So, <coughs> excuse me. But anyways, back to what I'm saying. So I'm not an expert in kitties. I could be an expert in Jasper Nathaniel, but I am not an expert in, I'm more of an expert in crochet than I am an expert in Crayola. So that should help you to determine or decipher which which thing you want to do. We are actually out of time for the day. We will pick this up tomorrow. And we will see you next time. Bye.